So when you do this fox walk, it gives you like an optimum balance and, and the feel of the ground. And when you start doing it, the, you know, just the way grandma's going to show you, it might be a little painful at first because you're not used to walking like this. And as you do it more often, then it'll become, you know, the, the pain and everything will go away. It, it's not going to be painful. I, you, I will show you what I'm, what I, what grandma means. I'm going to use my glove and show you now. I'm going to show you with grandma's glove. This will be the blade of the foot, the side of the foot. This will be the ball of the foot. This will be the arch and the heel. Blade, ball of your feet, and then heel. Blade, ball of your feet, and heel. I'm hoping you understand what grandma's trying to show you here. So with uh, fox walking, you are consciously placing each foot, only committing to placing it down when you know it is safe to do so. Okay, so you're going to put this part down, and then you're going to go to the ball of your feet. You're going to roll to the ball of your feet gently, and then slowly put the weight on your heel. And you'll do that simultaneously. And so uh, that requires like short steps so you can like retract or move your foot if necessary. If, if you all of a sudden have a sticker or a leaf, you can actually retract your feet and you don't, you won't smash the, you know, you won't make the noise or you won't step on something that might hurt. And then, uh, again, you don't put your weight on that foot until you know it's safe and noiseless. Uh, this is, again, when you run around barefoot as a child, you know, when you have calluses, it's very easy. You actually will do the fox walk more than you realize. Uh, again, when you walk on gravel, like Grandma said, you will automatically fox walk. And it's just how the body preserves itself from injury where your foot's going to go and disperses your weight evenly in a flowing way. So hopefully you understand. And now Grandma's going to show you with her video and her feet how to do this. And that is going to be the fox walk I hope you're understanding what grandma's doing. Another part of survival, being quiet, silent, and if you are, you know, protecting yourself so that you're not making noise. This is to be only used, you know, for safety, for protection, not to sneak up on people and do stupid stuff, okay? It's, it's, remember, what did grandma teach you? Spirituality and respect. That's what this is all about. Okay, so this is Navajo grandma. And uh, here are my, my feet. I'm going to show you how to do the fox walk. This is so simple. When you walk, remember you're walking in a straight line. You're not walking like this. And so the fox walk is... Okay, so you're going like this. You're going... Blade, roll to the ball, and then down. Blade, roll to the ball, and down. Grandma's going to try to do some steps, okay? Blade, roll this. Blade, roll down. Blade, roll down. Bend my knees a hair. Okay, so then I go blade, ball, down. Blade, Ball of your feet and down. Blade, ball of your feet and down. Okay, so you're, and you know, it's like when you're tiptoeing like this, you're, you're going like this and you're sneaking up on somebody. That's in essence the same thing as the fox walk. You're, I mean, you're doing this gently and 
That's it.